Hey family, I just jumped on for a minute just to show you guys a couple little interesting things I've seen last night and today after I made the video yesterday. So this is what brought on the number that I added. Um, it's a confirmation yesterday. King blowout with a little red balloon for the blood of Jesus Christ. And, um, hold on. Not sure how in order my pictures are. Anyway, so the definition for the 404 when I seen that just right at the perfect time was to press and to urge. And you see there. It says, be urgent, right? Him, uh, him. His hunger impels him to work. So, I'm resharing that, um, you know, because I did this video and I happened to see that I had 111 views for Acts 111 that Jesus is coming in the clouds the same way that he went up. And as I was organizing this, I looked at the clock and also seen 3, 2, 1. So that's just something I seen last night after, you know, uploading the video. Okay, so then I seen this with 111 for Acts 111. Spotlight on faction. And faction was one of the used... Uh, Words I was using, I can't talk half the time. I was using the word faction within a remnant. And then I see this spotlight on faction. And I'm talking about the prophecy on, uh, you know, that Jesus is coming, right? That Roche gave, tell my people I am coming on that day. Y'all probably listen to the video. You know what I'm talking about. But right after this, guys. I see 111 on my video. 321. Okay. Then I see 111 spotlight on faction. You know, the people who are saying that Jesus is coming now. God's appointed times. Uh, all the prophetic things that are happening, right? And this was November 4th, and 4 means door. It was the Day of Atonement. Okay. The third, uh, on the third from sundown to sundown on the 4th was atonement. All right. And the moon was getting a bath. <laughs> getting a cleanse uh, in the heavens at the perfect time. Right. I was sharing all this from Manchild Ministries. And then I see spotlight on faction family on the fourth, which is atonement, which is also the door, and Jesus is the door. And while I was organizing, I happened to look at the clock, and it was 111 on the clock at the top. And so that's twice 111, 111, Jesus is coming in the clouds three times. And so I was prompted to look up 1108. And it means knowledge and wisdom. Spotlight on faction. Family. 111. 111. 111. Knowledge. Wisdom. The Day of Atonement. Then today on the 5th of November, which 5 is the number for grace. Right? Manchild was replying to a comment that I made, and it popped up at exactly 11, 11. And he is part of the faction that I am talking about, right? I mean, what what are the odds that, I, that I'm seeing all this? You know what I'm saying? And then, today, family, the clock emoji times ticking won't last forever and then update like our up going up date the number 430 means god okay 
Then I just seen this. I looked at the clock. I seen 625 and this ad for The Chosen Show, which I do not watch, but that's not the point. The point is, The Chosen was underneath the number 625. It means a gathering. And we're talking about a prophecy. Uh, tell my people I'm coming on that day. And when it happens, scream. Like, people will be screaming. Um, it'll happen. Oh, Lord, I have to pull it up. Anyway, chosen. He said the ones that Jesus said the ones that spoke of him are his chosen ones, right? So I see the word chosen and six two five a gathering. It's just all things I was mentioning in the video yesterday is the point in all this, right? The same language, the same words I'm using. And then I see this from yesterday with the king blowout in it again. And it says announcing above it, above it, right? Announcing king. And I said that the watchmen need to be announcing their king to blow the trumpet, right? And then I get this together, announcing king. And then the blowout. And I've had this blowout before, family. I've shared quite a while back. Connected to some messages that I was getting. So I look up the 643 when I just seen this. The Hebrew means palace. And the Greek means to prepare. I'm, I'm telling you guys. There's too much going on here to be a coincidence. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm not buying the coincidence stuff. And, I mean, all the same language that I'm using to tell people, you know, uh, well, let me pull it up. That this young lady has prophesied, tell my people I'm coming on that day, and when it happens, scream. It will happen in the room that we will be in, and especially those who made YouTube and those who spoke of him or his chosen ones. When it happens, we will still be in the same room. And I was talking about the faction within the remnant who has been in the same room. Talking about the calendar, the appointed times, and the Lord Jesus coming to get his people, his church, his bride. And then I see all this. I, I mean, 111, boom, 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 boom. And then 11-11, which is the 17th day of the seventh month, and the flood, and um, page jumped. <laughs> wow, right as I pulled up this particular picture to talk about this too, the page just jumped. Okay, so... It's the, the flood, right? And it's prophesied that 11-11 will be when the nuclear exchange happens. It's the 17th day of the seventh month, not the second month, the seventh month, okay, on God's calendar. It's the third day of tabernacles as well. And it also could be looked at as a 911 for emergency because Nova means nine. We've been talking a lot about this. So, I'm getting reports that from Hal Turner, um, they have been telling people to evacuate again in Ukraine. Well, Philip Barnett was saying they ha that another evacuation had to happen before the nuclear exchange. So now there's reports coming out that they're they're talk they're telling people. To evacuate. So family. This war really is looking like. This is happening. Uh, as I don't. I don't know how else to. You know take that. You know Philip Barnett wasn't shown the year. But he was shown the day. And everything is pointing to it. And you know, when the solar eclipse happened, 
on October 25th, it was election day in Israel. And it's election day in the United States, the day of the blood moon. I'm telling you what, the Lord is doing miracles in the heavens, declaring his glory of rapture in his church and the judgments that is about to begin. Family, there is just, you can't calculate the things that's happening. It's just, it's ast astounding. It's, it's, I mean, I know I said this yesterday, but I'm telling you, I, I, I don't even really have the words <laughs> of all the things that's going on right now. You know, everything this young lady's seen, our sister in Christ, Roche, has come to pass. And I'm telling you, all of it will come to pass. The Lord Jesus is coming to get his bride. The heavens are declaring it. And he as much as said it. And the blood moon is the day before the first day of tabernacles. So we'd be up in heaven tabernacling with the Lord for tabernacles, right? Well, and then the judgments begin. I mean, it's another way of looking at it. I mean, she's seen, when the Lord changed her PowerPoints, she's seen... Um, the one with the left with the bride in the moon, he had changed it to um, a daytime picture with nothing in it, like the bride is already gone. She also seen that shooting upward uh, beam of light that represented rapture. Um, she's had more rapture connections with everything that the Lord has shown her. Rapture has always been involved, family. With everything the Lord has been showing her, rapture has been involved. And he's literally, the Lord, the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, said, tell my people I am coming on that day. And then I see all these connected words of the video I just did yesterday in Numbers. I'm coming in the clouds the same way I went up, Acts 1.11. Oh, and I want to say, too, Man Child's got a video he's been working on. He's hoping to get it up tonight. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I don't think people are actually getting the things that are happening. And I can tell that the watchmen aren't because I haven't seen any change in anything. I believe the Lord. He's coming now. We're out of time. That's it. So I thought I would share all this. I hope it encourages you guys. If you don't know Jesus, believe the gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ died, he was buried, he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures to pay for your sins. We are all sinners falling short of the glory of a holy God. But Jesus paid it. Call on him now because you're out of time. The King of Glory, Jesus Christ, is coming. And the judgments, the divine wrath of the true and living God is going to fall on this earth. I love you, family. We're in the countdown. We are in the countdown. Please understand this. Jesus is coming. Good night.